how to build links to Google business profile the same way uh, you mean like, so what's the target URL? The best thing to do uh, is a map embed um, or build links to the share URL uh, or build links to the Google business profile, excuse me, the Google business website. If you publish it and it's optimized properly, uh, you know, just publishing the Google business website with no content, not optimized properly does nothing. So save your time. <laughs> don't, don't waste your time. But if you do it properly, the Google business website is a very, very, very powerful part of the local entity. Um, put well-optimized content. You can put about 2,500 words of content into the content body or main content area of the Google business website. Um, mention summaries of all your products or services, the locations that you service, if it's a service area business. Uh, and then you can link out with contextual links out to your branded entity assets from the Google business website. That's what makes it powerful. And then you can build links to it, by the way, and very aggressively because it's a Google business profile. So um, that is one of the most powerful parts of the Google business website, the GB website, is the fact that it's a Google property and you can help with what I call discoverability. Google's going to crawl it. You know it for sure. It's a Google property. Google crawls it. Trust me. <laughs> so uh, linking out with contextual links to branded entity assets helps to like start helps Google to start kind of like find these puzzle pieces and starts to form a cohesive picture of the you know the brand, the local brand, the local entity, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's kind of an analogy I like to use in audits is talk about like jigsaw puzzles. There are all these like little pieces that when you dump out a jigsaw puzzle on a table, it, it's there's really no rhyme or reason to it. But as you start to assemble them in in, a, in in order, it starts to create a picture, right? And the more pieces you put together, the more clear that picture becomes. It's the same thing with the semantic web, guys. There's all these bits of data out on the web and Google tries its best to find all these things and start to assemble them in an orderly fashion to make up a cohesive brand image, entity image. Does that make sense? And so it's our it, it's in our best interest to help with this discoverability, right? It's, again, a term for that is informing the knowledge graph, right? You help to help Google to uh, build the knowledge graph for a local entity. And the way that you can do that is by using Google properties. Google business website is a perfect opportunity for that. Not just that, but the Google business posts. Every time you publish a post, use the CTA button to link out to one of your branded entity assets. What is it? It's a Google property. You're giving a direct link through a Google asset to a branded entity asset. You're telling Google, hey, go recognize this as part of my brand, right? Pull that in and add that puzzle piece to the puzzle to make a better picture, a cleaner, more clear picture. That makes sense. A sharper image of our brand. Um, Google business posts, Google business website, the G site, G sheets. All of those things, all Google properties. Blogger, you can do it with Blogger too. Uh, we include all of those. So yeah, Captain Morgan said, Google crawls GM, uh, GBM, GMVs, GBPs almost instantly. You're absolutely right. And I've talked about this many times before. I'll share it here. It's fine. Let's, let me pull this up. There's another way that you format the URL for Google business websites and or posts that make them much more effective. And it's this right here. And here, why? Why would this be more effective, guys? It's the same. They resolve to the same location. Let me just demonstrate this. You know what? I'll just pull it up from here. Because I already have these URLs extracted. Give me a second. I taught about this on the Mastermind last week. <clears throat> so here's what I'm talking about, guys. This right here. No, that's not what I wanted. Wrong one. Abort, abort. Here we go. This. All right. So this is what I was trying to say here. This right here, the Google post format, post URL format. The normal format is this, right? This is what we're used to seeing. Okay. So that would be this version. Let me extend this out a little bit. That's going to be this version of a URL of a Google business post. That is normal. That's what we usually see, right? So the, the subdomain that we designate when we publish the site and then the post ID is there. So that's normally what we see, but we can convert that to this format here. So all we do is we just take the subdomain and we put that here. We take the post ID and we put that here. And now take a look at this. This is on a google.com domain versus a business.site domain. Which do you think is more powerful? Well, why don't we go prove it out? Let's go to Majestic. Let me pause the screen for a minute.
just because I I'm in my main account, which client stuff will appear if I don't if I'm not careful. So stand by for a minute, guys. Okay. All right. So what I want to show you here is I got in the first version of this here, we're looking at the usual normal format. So I'm going to change this to subdomain. Okay. So this is the subdomain, right? For uh, treecarehq winchester.business.site. Well, if we come over here and we look at the subdomain here, look at this, guys. Look at this versus this, right? Okay. Well, that's that's normal because this is a subdomain that we just created, right? Okay. Well, then let's look at the root domain. The root domain is going to remove the subdomain. Look at the power of .business.site or the strength according to Majestic. Look at the referring domains. What do we are we already know what's going to happen here. But what I'm saying is the root domain for .business.site or business.site, excuse me, the root domain is not as powerful or it's I guess it's more powerful than the business.google.com, but if we change this to root Look at that. <laughs> Look at the difference. So what do you think is more what do you think is more effective when they're both they both resolve to the same location? What do I mean by that? So for those of you that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, this is a normal Google business post right here. All right? So this is an inner page. So in other words, when you publish a Google business post, if you have the Google business website published, then it becomes an inner page you also get a little share URL that you know will, will show up. You can have a map share URL. You can have a, a SERP share URL. Those are different. But the Google business website, when it publishes, it creates an inner page. That's this here. There's the URL. That's the typical format. But this format here is the exact same post, but much, much higher metrics. You're on the google.com domain here. You see it's the exact same post. If I open this one up, Look at view page source, and I'm in Firefox. And fuck, I don't know why Firefox does not give me word wrap. For um, I don't know why it does that. It drives me nuts. So we're going to go to incognito instead. We'll paste that in. Click word wrap or line wrap, whatever. And then I'm going to do a control F. Well, there's the canonical there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it canonicalizes to itself the 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 business.google.com version of that URL. These index guys. I've ranked these. I'm not kidding. Um, so these are much more powerful. This, this version of the URL is much more powerful. If you convert your Google business posts into this version of the format or URL, use that for embeds. You can embed these, right? Like somebody in our mastermind was saying that they couldn't embed Google business posts. And it was, an op it was operator error, I promise you, because you can absolutely um, embed these, right? So go to iframe generator. I'm going to paste that URL. Preview. Boom, there's the embed. So it works. Um, anyways, build links to that, guys. Those index, you can rank those. Uh, I've actually, I've ranked them. I, I've ranked them for keywords in low low competition areas. How do you do that? You put the keyword first, right up at the top. Um, for low competition, I've ranked those. Now for brand searches, I've ranked these often. Like you can see them. But these are very powerful, man, when you use them with this version of the format. And by the way, you can do the same thing with the, with the, uh, Google business website URL. So going back to that, same thing, this right here, we just take that, that version of the URL, paste it here and input, where is it? There it is. Same thing. See, this resolves to the same location that this does here, and it's a different format. Um, anyway, hopefully that's clear, guys. Money, money, money. Right on. So build links to the Google business website. Um, better to build them to that other version of the URL that I just described. Okay. Uh, cause it, it's, it's stronger. It's more powerful. It passes more link. Well, more, more authority essentially. Um, you can build links to the Google Maps share URL, right? So we come back to and do embeds, do a lot of embeds. I don't like to do build links to the uh, CID map URL because only, only SEOs do that. Nobody even knows how to get the CID map URL anymore, except for SEOs. 
if you ask a just a, a layman, a civilian, what a map CID URL is, they're going to look at you like you're crazy. So um, again, another one would be share URL here. That is a 302 redirect. So you're not, it's not about pushing link equity or into the, the map. It's about a natural looking link profile. Not only that, there, Google uh, tracks, trust me, Google tracks clicks on these. So if you're doing any kind of CTR manipulation, that's the kind of link you want to send click throughs to or click throughs, right? You want, you want to click on that link because that's an engagement signal, right? So map share URLs are great for that. So you can build links to that. You can build links to the Google business website um, and then do a lot of map embeds. Again, go to share, embed a map, and you can do embeds too. There you go. Um, 